Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're going to make some pine pitch. Let's do this real quick. We need filtered pine sap, ground up charcoal, a collection device, and some sort of mixing device. We're going to need some sort of fibrous material, in our case cattails, and then we're going to need some sort of sticks to collect everything onto. You want to go ahead and find a few wounded pine trees while collecting the sap. And once we've collected enough sap, we're going to go ahead and melt that sap down and kind of filter it and get all the dirt and bark and everything out of there, just so that the sap we work with is going to be a little bit more pure. While that sap is melting down, we can go ahead and take our charcoal and start to grind it down into a nice fine charcoal. You're going to want to take your time and really grind it down to as fine a charcoal as you can get it. You want to keep an eye on the sap that you're melting down. You don't want the heat source to be too hot where it's just going to burst into flames. And once you hear it start bubbling, you know you're ready to filter it through. The filtered junk is loaded with pine sap and can be used for your next fire. You want to slowly and carefully pour your melted pine sap into your mixing container. Now the ratio here is going to be about 60% pine sap, about 20% ground up charcoal, and then 20% fibrous material, which could be dried deer scat or any animal that eats plants that's going to leave a dry fibrous scat. Or you can use the fluff from cattails. When you're mixing the charcoal and sap together, if you find that it's starting to harden up on you, you can go ahead and throw that right back on top of your stove on a low heat so it'll kind of melt everything back down and make it a little bit easier to work with. And then once it's melted to a good point and you have it really mixed in well, you want to go ahead and add your fibrous material. In my case, I'm using cattails. It was readily available at the time, and it was nice and easy to use. You want to make sure you stir it well, and you want to add enough. Like I said, it's going to be about 20% fibrous material, 20% charcoal, 60% sap. Go ahead, add enough, mix it up, get a nice consistency. And the nice thing here, too, is... If you find you don't have enough of one ingredient, you could always heat everything back up and add more of that ingredient and keep working with it till you get that really nice consistency. Once you have everything mixed together, you can go ahead and take the stick that you've prepped and dip it in the pine pitch. And you're going to want to let it cool off a little bit and then we're going to dip another stick in there, let that cool off, dip another stick, let that cool off. And then once they've cooled off, you go ahead and dip it back in there and then you're going to let it cool off again. And you're going to keep repeating this process until you get a nice ball of pine pitch on the end of the stick. Once you feel you have enough pine pitch on the end of your stick, you want to let it cool down just a little bit. Enough to where it's not molten hot and it's going to burn your hand. It's not really going to stick to your hand. But to where when you press it in your hand, it, it doesn't stick and you can start to mold it into shape onto that stick so you can store it later. And then when you want to go ahead and use it, you're going to just put it back over a fire or a heat source and not so close and so hot to where it's going to start back on fire but close enough to it to where it's just going to start to melt to become pliable again and then you would go ahead and apply it to whatever you need to glue together whether you're making a bow and arrow and you're making the arrowheads um, stick onto the the shaft of the bow or you're making the quills for the bow or whatever it is whatever you're doing you want to apply it on there and mold it into place and then it's going to cool down and harden and make a nice bond to whatever you're trying to bond together. This can be a nice weekend project or it can be a nice little skill to have in your little bag of tricks there for when you're out in the woods and you actually need to do something like this or if you're out camping and you just want something to do. You go ahead and do this and you know practice it or impress your friends or whatever the case is. It's definitely kind of a cool little primitive thing to, to learn and, and do and experience. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you guys did this project today, please leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much. I urge everybody to use caution when taking on a project like this. This stuff is extremely flammable, and if it's left unattended, it could be disastrous. Please use caution, work safe, be smart about this.